for a chocolate orange pudding in your life? Perhaps I can get you over the line with a roasted white chocolate sauce that's going to drizzle over the top. This dish is inspired by a new New Zealand chocolate. I'll put a link below where you can grab it from, but trust me, get more than you think you're going to want. Who have an array of flavours and I'm using their orange chocolate. White chocolate goes into an oven proof dish into the oven for six to seven minutes until golden brown at 170 degrees Celsius. Solomon's Gold Handcrafted Orange Chocolate, 70% cocoa. And I'm just going to break it into pieces and melt it. Got some soft butter that's going into the cake mixer with some caster sugar, orange zest in there of half an orange. Colour's looking good, it's been beating for about four minutes. Just scrape that down like that. And then I'm gonna add one egg yolk at a time. The eggs have been separated. There we go. And I'll mix that up. And that's combined, get another one in. That's good, and another one in. And the last one. I'm using the orange chocolate, but they've got all these different flavors, mint and berry, so you can make it whatever flavor you like. Into the oven for six to seven minutes and we'll allow that to cool. Now I've got some freshly squeezed orange juice going in. And it'll kind of look a little bit like it's splitting at the moment, but that's quite okay. Next step is the almond flour is going in, along with the all-purpose flour. The cool thing about this dessert is you can make it the night before and then just cook it when you want it ready. I've moved the mix into the bowl I melted the chocolate in. I've cleaned this bowl and put a whisk attachment in. Always make sure that the bowl is super clean when whisking egg whites. So if you think your egg whites are a little bit old, add a pinch of salt. And if you want to know how to check out whether your eggs are fresh, go to my Moroccan broccoli toast and I'll show you how there. So put half the whipped egg whites in and then just mix it up. Now we're not making a souffle here so you don't have to worry about folding it in, you're just mixing it in. And as I said, you can do this the day before, have them all ready to go in the oven when your guests arrive. There we go, it's just about mixed in, let's get the rest of it in. The egg whites all mixed in, I've greased some little moulds with butter and then I'm just running a little bit of caster sugar around there. Now you can use big moulds, small moulds, whatever you like. The bigger the mould, the longer they're going to take to cook. And we're cooking them in a bain-marie. So first of all, I'm going to put the mix in. There we go, like that. Now you can do this the night before, have them in the fridge, and then just put hot water into the bowl that we're, dish, baking dish that we're cooking them in. The oven's set at 180 degrees Celsius. Make some comments, don't forget to subscribe, show the love. You're going to love these and you're going to love the sauce I'm going to show you how to make with it. Some hot water in so it goes up the side of the dish, at least halfway but preferably three quarters of the way and into the preheated oven. There's our roasted chocolate, we're getting some cream and milk in it, it's exactly half of each. Minus this guy. Now the bit that's going to make, oh, this is a spectacular sauce, amazing over ice cream. Healthy pinch of cinnamon. I'm going to put it on a low heat. Onto a low heat, we're going to melt that roasted white chocolate in there. Then we're going to turn it into a silky smooth sauce. It's come up to the simmer. I've taken it off and let it cool a little bit. Pouring it on the egg yolks. Whisk it up. And then I've got a pot there with some water in there and I'm going to pot it over the heat like this and whisk it constantly. Don't walk away. Don't go and check out Facebook right now. 
just keep whisking it until it wants to coat the back of the spoon. Okay, that's looking good, and see it covers the back of the spoon. It's just perfect. So we've got a roasted white chocolate custard, which we're going to use as a sauce. You can see they're now firm to the touch, and they are cooked. They come out so easily. some comments don't forget to subscribe show the love